if you are applying for gks undergraduate scholarship in south korea this year and you want to know that how to fill the application form for this scholarship then this video is for you so let's start hello viewers i am amar dilawar and welcome to my youtube channel as you know that gks scholarship to study your undergraduate degree which is bachelor's degree in south korea is now open and if you don't know that what is gks undergraduate scholarship what is its eligibility criteria what are the required documents for this scholarship then i have separate videos on these topics so you can assess the video from the i button and i have attached the link in the description box so in this video we will specifically discuss that how can you fill the application form for the gks undergraduate scholarship because many students they have many questions in their mind so in this video i will try to clear all of your doubts that how can you fill the application form so the first thing i want to mention here that you have to fill the application forms through your computer it is not recommended to fill the application forms by your handwriting because many people handwriting they are not understandable and you can make lot of mistakes while filling the forms by handwriting so it is highly recommended that you must fill these application forms through your computer or through your laptop so on the screen you can see the 2024 global korea scholarship undergraduate degree program application forms so if you don't know that how to download these application forms then just go to the video that i have mentioned in the description box that how to download these application forms so this is the first form and it is application checklist so first of all you need to tick the embassy track or university track and it is very easy to choose these options you just go to university track and just click on the university track and it will automatically check this column so there is no difficulty in this if you want to choose embassy track so just click on the embassy track and it will automatically choose this column and you need to keep one thing in your mind that you cannot apply through two tracks you need to choose only one track then the first thing you need to fill is the name of institution receiving application you can also leave this option empty otherwise you can fill the embassy name of your country or the university name in which you want to apply then you have to write the name of applicant so you have to write the name in this pattern first you have to write your family name then given name and then middle name so family name for example my name is muhammad amar dilawar and dilawar is my family name so you have to fill like this first you need to write dilawar then comma and then muhammad amar so in this pattern you need to write your name and if you have only one name for example many candidates they have only one name like furkan so in this you need only furkan there is no need to write family name given name or middle name then you have to write the country of citizenship from where you are applying pakistan india bangladesh then this is application checklist so for now leave this application checklist empty after filling all of your forms you need to take print and then you have to fill this checklist by your hand then there is form number 1 so here same you have to tick the column so for example if you want to apply through university track then just click the university and you can remove this red column line so just click on this and choose the cut option then this will be automatically removed from here then in the type of application in embassy track there are two types general or overseas and in the university track there is university industry corporation which is uic regional or associate so for example if you want to apply through uic then the degree program you want to apply through bachelor's degree then what is your desired field of study so for example if you are applying through engineering then just write engineering here then in the information of applicant column you need to write again your family name your given name your middle name and photo you cannot use soft form of photo after taking the print of this form you need to attach the hard copy of your photo here then for date of birth you need to remove this one and in korea the date of format is like this you have to write first year then you have to write month and then you have to write the day so please keep this thing in your mind that the date format in korea is different so just follow this format then you have to click your gender country of citizenship korean citizenship your parents have korean citizenship then you have to write the address your phone number with country code 
and then you have to write the email address that is valid or functional because GKS will communicate with you through this email. Then for language abilities, if you have any topic level, then just click on the level. Otherwise, you can leave all this empty. If you have any English proficiency score, then just fill the score here or otherwise leave it empty. Then you have to write your level of education. You have to write your high school name, your country. Your... Then you have to write the period of attendance. For example, if you have attended your high school from 2019 to 2021, then you have to write here. Then you need to mention the high school grades because in many countries, the high school is just 12th. In many countries, the high school is 11 plus 12. And in many countries, the high school is 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12. So you need to mention here that what high school means in your country. Then you have to write the date of graduation. And if you are expected to graduate, then you have to write the expected graduation date. Then if you are applying for associate degree, then just fill this form. Otherwise, you can leave this empty. Then the information on academic transcript and grade. This is very important part and many students, they are confused in this part. So the first part is your CGPA, which is indicated on your original transcript. So for example, I am applying through Pakistan and in Pakistan, we don't have CGPA system for high school. We have marks or grade system for high school. So for example, I have 990 marks out of 1100 so i have to write here 990 out of 1100 so you have to write the same marks or same system that is indicated on your transcript then you need to convert this on cgpa scale which is 4 4.3 4.5 5 or 100 so for me it is easy to convert this to 100 scale so this is just 90 out of 100 which is my percentage and for the score percentile, there is appendix table in the GKS guidelines. So from the appendix table, you have to write your conversion here. So in my case, my score percentile is also 90 out of 100. So if your CGPA is different according to your country, then you have to write the CGPA indicated on your transcript, then convert it into four scale 4.3, 4 4.5, 5 or 100. And then you have to write score percentile here. And if you don't have any system, like if you don't have four system, 4.3 system, then there is no need to worry. Write your original grade or original grading system here and just submit a document that explain your grading system. It is very easy. There is no need to worry for this part. Then you need to write your CGPA or GPA indicated on your original academic transcript. So for example, in my case, we don't have CGPA and we don't have semester system. We have annual system. So we have two annual year, first year and second year. So in first year, I write, for example, 450 out of 550. No need to write the two number because this is not applicable to me. And in second year, I need to write again 450 out of 550. The other things, they are not applicable to me, so I can leave this empty. Then you need to choose the university and department. If you are applying through university track, then you have to choose only one university. And you have to write the field of study, department and other option here. So how can you get the field of study and department information? So GKS, they have provided a university information file. Just go to that file and write division and department from there. And if you are applying to embassy track, then you have to choose three universities for embassy track. But for university track, you can choose only one university. Then the next thing is your previous visits to Korea. So mostly this is not applicable to you. So just leave this empty. Then previously received scholarship, just leave this empty. And then you have to write the date in same format, your name and signature. There is no need to add electronic signature. After filling all this form, you have to take the print of this application form and you have to do the signature by your hand. Then the next document is your personal statement and in your personal statement, you have to write it within two pages. You cannot exceed from two pages. It is their requirement and you have to write in Times New Roman in 11 size. And these points must be considered in your personal statement and personal statement. It is very important for this scholarship. So I recommend you that please check your personal statement from any of your senior or from your teacher. Then after filling the personal statement, again, you have to take the print, write date, applicants, name and signature. Then you have to write your study plan. In study plan, you have to write language plan, goal of study and study plan and future plan. And same applies here. After finishing, you need to take print, write date, applicant's full name and signature. Then this recommendation letter, it must be filled by your teacher. So you send this recommendation letter to your teacher through email or you take a print and give it to your teacher and ask him to write for you. 
and after writing this recommendation letter he must seal this recommendation letter in the sealed envelope you have to guide your teacher that how to fill this recommendation letter and what are the necessary information which he must write here for example how long you know the applicant what are applicant strength weaknesses and here the recommender he has to write his name signature position title address so your recommender have to fill this form and he must put this form in a sealed envelope and then give to you then the gks applicant agreement form so this is some agreement so just read this and just click on the front of this point for example one you have to click so you have to agree with all points then just take the print write your name date and signature and the last one is personal medical assessment form so there is no need to fill this form by doctor you can fill this form by yourself if you have any problem then just click in the yes column if you don't have any problem then just click no in the column and in the end you need to write your name date and signature after printing these forms so these are the six application forms which you need to write through your laptop or pc and after filling this form you need to take print of these forms do your signature and and then send this application forms with your educational documents to the korean university or embassy in your country so in the next video i will guide you that how can you prepare the envelope if you are applying through university track and how can you prepare the envelope if you are applying through the embassy track and how to send the documents to the university or embassy i hope that after watching this video you can easily fill the application forms for the gks undergraduate scholarship so if you have any question regarding this video please leave in the comment section and if you like this video then don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends see you in next video take care allah hafiz